You're watching HBO, America's leading pay TV network. There is no clear explanation of what makes a person homosexual. Yet 37% of American men and 20% of American women have had some form of homosexual experience since puberty. And reliable statistics conclude that at least one out of every 10 Americans is gay. Today, anti-homosexual statutes are enforced in 23 states, where many homosexuals stand accused of crimes against nature. The men and women presented here speak of prejudice, of pride, and of being homosexual. I would like all the people who are watching this film to just sit back and listen and stop holding the arms of their chairs with white knuckles. I would like to plead with them to just understand that people are different and everybody deserves to be happy. I never would have dreamed that I would live to see the day when there would be a gay men's chorus, now there are several in the country, uh, giving a concert in Carnegie Hall. I always hate these cufflinks. Well, the last time was... Oh, the last time was at the... Um, was at the uh, oh, at the laundry. Laundry, yeah. Wearing black tie without a button and a collar. Think of your svelte figure that's no longer. Well, once the uh, collar is pulled down, it'll be all right. You know, if we have more time, I could take the shirt off, sit down, sew the button on. <laughs> you wouldn't sew it on. You know very well I would. Of course I would sell it on. When? We're off to the concert.
most people who are gay at one point or another in their lives do experience prejudice. Being a gay person in America today, a part of your life is a lie. You're not completely being truthful with people about, about who you are. You just ignore it a lot. The only thing that really unites gay people is a sense of oppression. I think it's a real rip that there are laws that say that I'm a criminal because of who I choose to love. I think that there's a lot of macho men in this world, and I hate the attitude when they come across and saying, oh, this woman's gay or your sister is gay because she hasn't had a, a good man taking care of her. Bullshit. thing that I would have this film do if it helped one gay boy or girl get back with their parents then this film would have been worth all the time that we put in it. We're not freaks. We cry when bad things happen and we laugh when good things happen. We have all the things that everybody else in the world has. That I want people to know. We're human beings like everyone else and uh, we just live our lives and uh, try to be decent human beings. If there's one thing that could come out of what this film does, it's the hope that there won't have to be closets anymore and that people can be exactly who they are and say who they are and that it'd be okay. It's not just a heterosexual world. It's a world for everyone. I think that if I had one wish and what this film could accomplish would be to open up America and see that there's nothing wrong with homosexual men or women. You should treat them like your children, your brothers, and your sisters or your parents because that's who they are.